guys and welcome to Coffee Machine Depot USA. Today we're going to be talking Melkonig and in particular we're going to talk about the GH2. For, you, for those of you that know Melkonig, you certainly know their most famous grinder which of course is the EK43. It's a very versatile grinder, it's a strong grinder. Originally it was designed as a spice grinder and then all of a sudden the coffee guys got onto it and it's been a very, very popular grinder. We certainly sell a lot of them but it is expensive. And we've also got the Guatemala here as well. Um, some people prefer the Guatemala because it's a bit cheaper. But now we've got the GH2. Now the GH2 proceeded or came after the GH1. And this grinder here is a really, really good grinder for the value for money. $950. And what you get is you get an 85 millimeter burr that is made in Italy. It's not made in Germany. That's why it's cheaper. And also the actual grinder is made in China, but that shouldn't worry you at all because this grinder has a beautiful, beautiful grind. The dispersion of the grinds is perfect. It's got a big range here. We've got coarse, percolate, press, drip, auto drip, fine, espresso, espresso and Turkish, so a finer espresso. We're actually gonna show you here today how easy it is if you want to have a single origin coffee or even a decaf coffee and use this as your grinder. Just portion out 18 grams, 19 grams or 20 grams and you'll be able to do that. And why can you do that? Quite simply, it's because the retention is really, really low on this particular grinder. It's also stepless as well. So if I move this across, you can hear that it's stepless. It's no, not making any noise. I'm gonna put that over there to espresso. And we're actually gonna run this beautiful little GS3 here today. And we're gonna show you, if you did own a cafe, and you thought, look, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna spend the extra money. I don't wanna get a, an extra decaf grinder or even a single origin grinder. But you know, I do wanna play around with some different coffees. What could I do? This is the grinder for you. Okay, so let's have a look. What we're going to do now is we're going to portion out 19 grams of coffee and we're going to see exactly what comes out of the chute, what retention's left, and then we're going to make an espresso drink on this GS3. Come with me and have a look at this. So, pour the coffee in there, let's weigh that out. Okay, so I've put in 20 grams of coffee in here now. I'm gonna pour that straight in the top. The grinder comes with a little shelf as well. The shelf can be clicked on here, here, or here. For today, we're just gonna pop that in the middle. I'm actually using, I'm gonna put the uh, coffee grinds in there as well. It's on the espresso. Just pop that there like that and push run. Once that's finished, it's got a little bag clasp at the back. We just give that a bit of a hit and it gets any little bits and pieces, any retention left over uh, back into the porter filter. By the way, let's have a look at what we have. Okay, it's actually exactly what I put through there. So there was zero retention in that particular grind. That's fantastic. Okay, so let's get the 20 grams of coffee in here. Grind distribution is absolutely perfect. It looks beautiful. We've got our OCD distributor. Make that nice and flat. Give it a tamp. Let's have a look at what this little GS3 can do. This is one of the original GS3s. It's got the uh, MP paddle, but it doesn't have the new conical valve. We are, by the way, changing most uh, GS3s that come in these days. We're fitting the new conical valve, which actually helps with more uh, pressure profiling as well. I'll give it a little bit of a pre-infuse there and we'll pull it across. So this is espresso coming out from the GH2. If you want to use decaf, if you want to use single origin and you're worried about buying another grinder, this is what you can expect. To me the crema looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to knock that off at 27 seconds. There we go. Have a look at that. Some people say to me, 
Aaron, what we like to do is we like to get our decaf and we grind it in the morning, we put it in a container and we just use it throughout the day. I don't like that idea, the reason being is after about 10 minutes your coffee is going to go stale. This is always going to be fresh. That to me is a win-win is a situation for all, $950, you can't beat that scenario. Let's have a look at what you get when you buy this particular grinder as well. Comes with a beautiful pouch here, it's got some uh, tools, it's also got a brush here as well if you want to do some sweeping. I mentioned the, uh, the bag clamp as well, this can go down here, the shelf, we get our bags. Very simply, just pop that under there. The hopper inside 4.4 pounds, so you can, you can dump 4.4 pounds. If you're doing your cold brew, you wanna put it on course, just dump it in there, put a bigger bag there, it'll come out. I, I, honestly, for the money, $950, you couldn't buy a better grinder. And we thank, we thank Mel Koenig for bringing this out. What, what we don't thank them for is, they're always hard to get because we sell out of them very fast. So if you do want one, make sure you call first and make sure they're in stock. Usually we have about five in stock at any one given time, but sometimes we can sell them in two or three days. So please, give us a call at Coffee Machine Depot USA. We look forward to hearing for, from you and we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching the Melconic GH2. Thank you.